All right, here we are in Draenor. We want to go south. So that would be this way. Draenor, there's even a sign. All right, what was the name of that person? I think it would be marked on the map. Do I see it up here? Oh wait, right here. There's a little blue square over here. And there's also a gray, I mean, uh, another blue square here. Interesting. I bet it's in that room right there. Talk to Aggie. Hey, Aggie. What can I help you with? Hey, you're a witch, aren't you? Talk about swept away. Let's talk about swept away. Can we talk about brooms? Of course. What can I do for you? Maggie asked me to help her enchant this for her broom. She needs it to finish a potion that she's brewing. I was wondering if you could help me out. Of course, Maggie's an old friend and we go quite a w back quite a way. Now in order to enchant the broom, we'd need, we'll need a bit of space and privacy. It's a little clearing. There's a little clearing as witches sometimes use. Would you like me to teleport you there so we can get started? Yes, I'm ready to go now. All right, hold on to your hat. Swept away line. It's probably a puzzle or something. Whoa! Where are we? What are we doing here? Oh, this is just a little place that some of us witches use on occasion. It's rather convenient for the occasional ritual or spell. Not only is it infused with a bit of magical pizzazz, but it's out of the way enough that we don't get a lot of unnecessary interruptions. All right, which leaves the question of what are we doing here? You want the rooms of yours enchanted, right? Right. Well, the best way to enchant that hunk of dead wood is to harness the power latent in the magical symbol here. You see the pattern of 16 lines drawn out in the sand on the ground? I did. How could I miss it? In order to enchant the broom, you need to sweep away four of those 16 lines such that you leave only four triangles on the ground and nothing else. If you run into any trouble, let me know and I'll reconfigure the original pattern for you. I can also teleport you back to Draenor if you're ready to leave. Okay, thanks. I'll give it a try. Alright, so I've got to have four triangles. If I sweep one, two, three, four, then I have one, two, three, four. Alright, my first guess is these four, because that'll leave me with one, two, three, four. That was easy. Hmm, that doesn't look quite right. No extra lines or shapes. So that wasn't it. Not sure what I did wrong there, but maybe... Oh, I think I had five. I needed exactly four. I think that's what happens. Start over. All right. 
right, so I swept those four and I had one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I had five, six, I guess, if you call that big one. Okay, so that didn't work. So let's try something else. If I do these four, then I do not, I'm not, I'm left with one, two, three, four, five. I'm still left with five. So I have too many there. If I sweep away one, two, three, four, then I'm left with one, two, three, Let's try those four. Middle four. Why is it clicking it? I don't think this is going to work either because when I look at it, it looks funny. Nope. Make pattern of four small triangles. Okay, so only four small triangles. So I'm guessing I have to do. Well, it says no extra lines. That's the funny thing. So I was looking at big triangles and extra triangles. Alright, I want four small, so I would probably want the outside one there, the outside one there, this one, and this one. But then I have extra line. So that's not it. Maybe I want these three and that one. Maybe if I go one, two, no, see, then there's this triangle here. So it doesn't say they have to face the same direction. One, two, three, four. That ruins that. One, two, three. No, that ruins that. One, two. walk in here see if I think of it better. The thing is I have extra lines. That's that's the trick. It's it's small triangles and extra lines. I don't think you can do this with with just eliminating four. So there must be a trick in that they're counting big ones or something else because there's way too many lines on there. Every small line is, every small triangle is three lines. Well, if I get rid of this one right here, then that makes three. One, oh no. See that these, it's a big one. One, two, three. If I get rid of this line, that makes three. One, two, one, two, and then the big one, three. I can't possibly get rid of all these extra lines and stuff. Oh, that's three. And then if I get rid of these three, then that would be the fourth one, that big one over there. I'll bet that's it. They don't mean four small ones. They mean one too big and too small. Ah, uh, I think that's it. You get rid of these three middles and then this one. Wait. <clears throat> nope. No, that's so that's not it. That uh, 
do 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 do. Hmm. Seemed to work for me. It's just the size of the triangles are, are wrong. Why are they making me do that? They're the witch. One, two, three, four. Big triangle, big triangle, small triangle, small triangle. That was... To me, that was right. But it must be the size of the triangle. They must only want small triangles. If they only want small triangles... Oh! I get rid of these two. Then that leaves and these two and those two. Then that leaves these two and those two. Yeah, these two middle ones and then these two long ones. That's four small ones. I was close before, but now I think. Ta-da! Whoa! I felt that down to my toes. <laughs> you did it! The enchantment on the sand pattern has infused Maggie's broom. Nothing more to do now. Come have a chat when you're ready. I'll take you back to Draenor. Wow, that was impressive. <laughs> A lot of power in these types of magical symbols. Anything else that needs to be done here? Nope. thing. Hold on to your hat. Be back to Draenor before you can wiggle your nose. Alright. Let's look at the quest here. Just need Hetty in Remington. Which I'm guessing is over here. Because they have a uh, blue rectangle over here. We have Trogs. Here's Maggie again. Ah, uh, that must be left over. Remind me what I'm supposed to be doing. Enchant the broom. And then come back to me. So they were just marking all the different places. All of them reside in southern... Betty at the port. Aggie and Draenor. Um, I just saw another box over here. Let's try here. Uh, this looks familiar. Did I just come from here? Yeah, I did. So that's not it. Okay, so I need to go back. 
the map and see where it's all right so i got this box right here and at this box right here there's this one way over here remington hey i figured it out So I need to go that way. How do I get there faster? Ah, teleport to here. Someday I'll figure out this map. There's Hetty. I have to go inside. Talk to her through the window. Here, here's a broom. Ooh, trapdoor. I probably have to go there eventually. Oak Queen Slime. That's that other quest I'm following. Talk to Hetty. Talk about swept away. Hey, Maggie asked, sent me to ask for your help enchanting her broom. Ah, brewing up a cauldron full of her infamous good stuff. Is she? Well, of course I'll help. I think this calls for one of my specialties. My famous theurgical broom ointment. Now I can provide you with the ointment. All you need to do is apply the ointment to the broom. Excellent. But first, I'll need a newt. Newt? Yeah, a newt. Now if you pop down to my cellar through the trap door out back. I've just had a recent delivery of newts and toads. Delivery ghoul is still there. Here. Can't think what could be taking him so long. In any case, one of the crates are unloaded. Bring me a newt from the newt crate, and I'll set you up with the ointment. Alright, will do. Extract creature wrongly labeled crate noon. Wrongly labeled crate toads. Wrongly labeled crate newts and toads. So if it's wrongly labeled toads, then this must be it. Hey, don't touch the crates without my permission. Oh, sorry. Hello, are you the delivery, um, ghoul? Hetty told me that you could give me a newt for her potion. Yes, but I prefer if you called me Gus. I make deliveries for Numius Witchery Supplies. If it's a newt you're after, you can have one from one of those crates, but there's a problem. What kind of problem? A nudie toady sort of problem, I'm afraid. You see, the labels on those crates got, have somehow got mixed up. One of those crates contains just newts. 
One contains just toads, the other is a mixture. Problem is, I put the wrong label on all three crates. I can't remember which crate contains newts, toads, or both newts and toads. Oh dear, that certainly sounds like quite a problem. Indeed, don't tell Ms. Hetty or I'll be tomorrow soup. The other problem is that I can't look in the crates myself. You see, I have a terrible fear of newts. Will you work out which box contains toads? Which one contains newts and which one has both? If you could sort out the labels, I'd be happy to give you a newt to take to Ms. Hetty. Is it a deal? Uh, it's a deal. Excellent. I'm so relieved. So what do we do? need to do to sort out the crates. Here's the problem. I need to figure out what's in each crate. All we know is that I put the wrong label on each and every crate. So not one crate has the correct label on it. Sounds easy enough. I'll just have to look in each crate and... No, 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 you can't do that. We can't disturb them. Don't you know anything about magical frogs and newts? Also, we cannot waste too much stock. Ms. Hetty will find out there we're, we, if we start taking newts and frogs out of the crates as we please. So, what do you suggest? Well, when I was cramming for my crate delivery certification exam, I remember reading about the situation about situations like this. A person can figure out exactly what is in all three crates by only taking out one item from one crate. Problem is, I can't remember how to figure it out. I'm pretty sure that the key is in what I said earlier, that each and every crate has a wrong label on it. Here are three labels you can paste on the crates. If you lose your labels or want me to put things back the way they were, just let me know. Thanks, Gus. Alright, so if this one says not newts and toads, then this one must be newts or toads. If this one says toads, then this one must be newts or newts and toads. If this one says newts, it must be toads or newts and toads. So, if I find out which one this is, then that will figure out what the rest of them are. We pull out a newt. So this one's the newt one. How do I put the label on? Use newt label. You put the newt label on the newt one. So that means this toad one must be the both of them. And that means the toad one must be the newt one. Hooray, I do believe you've labeled the crates correctly. Ms. Hetty will be so pleased. Now, you need a newt, right? Feel free to take one from the newt's only crate. The other ones aren't appropriate for ointments and potions. I already grabbed a newt. The reason I picked the double one is because the other ones both had equal and didn't tell you the answer because it could have been the mixture. Told me I couldn't look at him before, but um, 
where's my newt? Should be in my backpack, right? There it is. That is it. Adios. Later. Get my ointment, get my broom done, go back to Maggie. Have you managed to get that new yet? Yep, right here. Excellent. Take it. Add newt slime to the ointment. That should do it. Just rub the ointment on the broom. Should start Maggie's purposes. Wonderful. Thanks. I think it's done. It better be done. And big spot was here. So I can go here and go just west and I'm home. There's Maggie. I solved your silly quests. Welcome, traveler. What can I do for you this fine day? I just saw you two seconds ago. You can't remember me? Talk to the three witches. All right, what did I not do that I was supposed to do? This is silly. Maggie needs you to stir her potion with a broom that has been specially enchanted. I need to have it enchanted by Hetty in Remington. Are you kidding me? I was just there. Who's that? Bunch of goblins. Goblin attacks. I'm going the wrong way here. Alright, let's get back to the map. I am... Having a heck of a time with this. Okay.
Alright, now why is this person still not enchanted the broom? It said I did everything. Take the ointment I gave you, rub it on the broom. Alright, so this is the broom. Broom ointment. You smear the ointment onto the broom, feel it tingle. Alright, now before I leave, let's see if there's anything else I need to do, because... Now that I've had it, return it to Maggie, let her know. I have good news for you. Cha and how? What's that crackle in the air and that smile on your face then? I visited Betty in Port Serum, Hetty in Remington, Aggie in Dragnor. All they've all enchanted the broomstick for us. I uh, you say brilliant. Oh, I can't tell you how grateful I am. You're in for a treat, you are. If you just do one more little thing for me. What's that then? Finish the good stuff off. We, but we just need to give it a good old stir with that broomstick there. It'll come out all the better if you do it. Since you're the one who had it enchanted. Could you stir the good stuff in that cauldron for me? Pretty please with sweeties on top. Of course. Brill, just a quick stir or two with the broom would be all it needs. Sounds easy enough. Stir the cauldron. There, that should do it. All done. I've stirred the cauldron for you. This stuff has to has a kick to it. I should think so. With all that added spice. There ought to be one spicy goulash. Would you like to try some? What? Wait, goulash? I thought you were brewing some amazingly magical witchly potion. Well, what witch doesn't love goulash, I ask you? 
What could be more witchy than a bag o big old cauldron full of spicy yumminess? But what about all the effort I went to enchant that broom? Cha well. You don't think spicing something this good is easy, do you? Look, I'm so grateful for your help. Why don't you keep yourself Help yourself to ten bowlfuls. Just dip a bowl in the cauldron and help yourself. But hang on to your hat. That stuff's magic after all. Not to blow my own horn, but just one bowl can improve almost any aspect of your life. Here's a bowl you can use. You can also keep the broom if you want. Now that we've used it to infuse the bowl with some brew with some good old spice, it's not much use to me. But you can't do much but sweep with it at the moment, but there are other witches out there who'd be happy to enchant it for you if you're interested. You have completed it. You get a whole bunch of random stuff. Where's that goulash? Whoops. They said I got 10 bowls, but I don't see any. Are they saying that I can acquire them as I want? Green goulash. Goulash gives you a pleasant, warm feeling. Pleasant, warm feeling again. Dungeoneering, let's see. I don't know what that means, but I'm guessing everything's useful at some point. Constitution. Let's 
Right. Hey, I leveled up. Level 15. That's 15 in strength, but still. Invention unavailable. Archaeology. Construction. Slayer plus two. <clears throat> Archaeology, sure. Mining plus 30. You already had all your portions of goulash from the cauldron. Alright. Only took like a week. Okay. Let's see what's next. We've got... Imp Catcher. Wizard Mizgog explained that Wizard Grazag imps have stolen his four magic beads. According to message Mizgog gave me, I can find the red bead at the air altar, the yellow at the fire, the black at the earth altar, and the white bead at the water altar. Do not be tempted to kill other imps for their fake beads. I should look for the sanguine bead at the air altar west of Varna. Alright, map's been marked. Ah, there we are. So I want to go to here. Alright, let's see. Is there a closer place? I think if I go straight north and then east, across the river, south. Ooh, is that a spider? Giant spider, level two. Not be worried about level two. Hmm. Bye bye. to go north. Mine clay rock. Hmm. Talk to Dolores. 
what we're doing. What are those? Can't be distracted. There's an altar. I think that's it up there. Talk to the sanguine imp. This guy right here. Gotta guard the bead, gotta guard the bead, gotta guard the bead, gotta guard the bead. Oh, hello. Don't mind me. I ain't done nothing dodgy. Hello, you excitable little imp. What was that you said about a bead? Er, that weren't me. I ain't got no bread. Not me, no sir. No bead. Imp lets out a large belch. The air smells like iron and his lips are stained with blood. Go on, you can search me if you like. You won't find a thing, I tell you. Why are you talking so fast? I can barely understand you. I dunno, Gov. I just fully rudder energy I am. Me heart's pounding like a drum. I think I know how to fix this. How about I help you work out that excess energy? Work off that excess energy. What you mean, exercise? I heard about exorism, exorcism. It don't go well for us demons. No, no, I want to exercise you, not exorcise you. I challenge you to a race around the air altar. That should tire you out. I accept. Last one, there's an extra large egg. On your marks, get set, go. He's getting tired. He's way ahead. He's lapping me. You lost the race. Challenge you to race around the air altar. That should tire you up. I think this is a little biased. He's got no internet to worry about.
be tired yet? be like the uh, snowball basin all over again. Yeah, I got 11. Hello, feather, fellow rune crafter. How can I help you? What are you researching? Well, the rune crafting wizards have got themselves into a bit of a state over a thesis published by a student. What did this paper say? Well, in short, it states that one day the altars like this one could run out of runic energy. That's terrible. How will humans perform magic if we cannot make runes? Well, it's still only a theory. Hardly any of the runecrafting gift guild wizards believe it to be true. Still, we have not proved Wizard Phoenix's theories to be incorrect yet. And if they're true, this is very worrying. Wizards have been dispatched all over the known to all the known altars to investigate. So what can we do if Wizard Phoenix's theories are true? Well, there's a new method being explored which was detailed in Wizard Phoenix's thesis. He's the best person to explain it to you. He's currently in the Wizard's Tower if you want to speak to him. Talk to Phoenix. I hope they let me into the Runecrafting Guild soon. It's cold up here on the roof. I'm a student at the Wizard's Tower. I'm here to see Wizard Elris in the Runecrafting Guild about the thesis I wrote on Runecrafting. What's your thesis about? Well, it explains my theory that runecrafting altars are not everlasting. They are vast stores for runic energy, but one day they will run out. I believe that's why Wizard Elris wants to see me. The runecrafting guild wizards cannot disprove my theories, and I think it's worrying them. Luckily, I believe I found an alternative method of making runes. Runic energy siphoning in the rune span. Runic energy siphoning? It's a way to take the energy out of the world around us and place it into rune essence, which in turn makes runes. It's still a theory, and most of the runecrafting guild wizards think it can never be done. 
But Wizard Elris thinks that the runestone might help my studies. 